Good morning, everybody. It's Stas here. Welcome back to another video. So in this morning's video, we're going to be talking about a couple of stocks and ETFs that I'm personally watching and looking to trade here on the 1st of May and heading on to the rest of this week. And we're also going to be taking a look at what is the stock market? What are the futures looking like right now on the 1st of May to kick off this May month? What are we looking like? Because we saw Apple recorded their earnings yesterday. The market took that very positively so let's see how that is transitioning to this morning's pre-market session so at the time that i'm recording this video we have about 45 ish minutes left to the market open we can see here natural gas is one of the futures that i'm watching because we trade i personally trade a bunch of other people trade u gas d gas which are two etfs that trade based on natural gas but we'll talk about that here in a couple of minutes let's hop over here to my safari tab and let's talk about the stock market futures, right? This is the CNN business. This is typically sometimes where I'm looking at the futures every morning. We can see if we do a quick refresh here, the S&P's up about $10 right now, up about 0.34%. NASDAQ's up 54 points here, pretty solid morning, up nearly 0.7%. And the Dow's up almost 100 points, up 94 to be exact, up 0.35%. And another thing I want to mention here is the Fed meeting is today. So if we quick uh, click this little article here very quickly, I'm sure it'll tell us um, a time here. Yep. Fed guidance, the Federal Reserve will announce its latest interest rate decision and policy update at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time today. So keep an eye on that, guys. We all know when the Fed meets, if they hike the interest rates, if they lower them, if they keep them the same, sometimes this does fluctuate and impact the market negatively or positively depending on the overall sentiment of the fed meeting so keep an eye on that today very very important that's definitely one of the key takeaways from this morning's video so we saw the markets the futures are up a significant not a crazy amount but a pretty decent significant amount here this morning if we're hopping over here to the nq to see what the nasdaq's doing we talked about this little downwards trending kind of a pennant channel here in yesterday's video it seems like we're breaking out of there especially with the strong earnings from apple right nasdaq is doing well it did very well after market hours yesterday seems like we're popping out holding that as a support we we could be pushing to an all-time high today watching that for the nasdaq hopping over here to the spy which is an etf that tracks the s p 500 on the one day one minute we can see you know we pulled back yesterday the the kind of an aggressive sell-off we reversed and we've been up trending ever since then on an intraday basis here well kind of a two-day basis and we can see that uptrend is still intact heading into the pre-market session today we're maintaining the 180 SMA we see the little bullish cross the 50 SMA crossing above the 180 SMA very good sign there for the SPY so needless to say guys the markets are looking green. They are looking strong this morning. So let's talk about very quickly a couple that I'm keeping my eyes on. A couple of ETFs, a couple of stocks that I'm keeping my eyes on this morning. So in terms of ETFs, guys, the number one that I am watching is crude oil and the uh, UWT ETF that trades based upon crude oil. So crude oil, whenever it's going up in price, UWT is going up in price as well. And whenever it's going down, obviously UWT is going down as well. So we initially saw, I initially saw interest in crude oil a couple of days ago because we maintained the 180 SMA support over the past couple of months, which has been a support over the past couple of months, right? Very good sign that crude oil wanted to continue this upwards push. We saw a pop up to 64.60, very quick pop up. I think that was literally a day or two times where it went from 62.60 to 64.60. We got the rejection at the resistance from back towards the beginning of April. We see this very strong resistance and it just happened to be right under the 50 SMA, right? So we got Got rejected at two separate points there and from there it seems like we've been really just reversing to the downside right but the one positive thing that i'm seeing here on the 20 day one hour it seems like 
very very close that we are maintaining this little trend here but we do seem to be breaking that but let's just say you know if we just clear this remove drawing very quickly technically we're still maintaining it right just keep an eye if we're going to bounce at the 63 ish level 6320 to continue to trend back up that's the ideal situation here for uwt and what i'm personally waiting for this morning let's say we do end up holding there and the key the next level the next key level from there would be breaking out of 6365 which was a resistance in the uh this morning's uh earlier this morning session right we hit 6365 got rejected pushed down and we hit that level on the 29th of april we obviously hit that level popped up broke below it making it a new resistance so that is a place where we need to get back and if we break above those levels and we head into the $64 level, that's going to be very attractive for uh, crude oil, right? And especially UWT, which is what I'm looking to trade today. So you guys saw natural gas in the beginning of this video. This one's slowly starting to break out on a bullish pattern here. So on the 20-day one hour, we can see... What was happening, right? The 50 SMA crossed below the 180 SMA. That's a bearish pattern. We saw some bearish um, you know, action over the past couple of weeks. Now we're finally breaking out of that 50 SMA resistance. We're seeing a bullish cross of the 50 SMA crossing above the 180 SMA. We're bro we broke out of the 180 SMA resistance. Everything is pointing to a little bit of a reversal here on natural gas right and if we go to the 184 hour we can see that on a bit of a better basis so what i'm looking for here is are we going to end up crushing into the 260s again maybe we start to pop out of the 180 sma resistance on the 260 level there's a couple of different things that can happen here right we can play you guys on the potential upside here that natural gas has up to the 180 sma and let's say we start to see some resistance there at that point you know it's going to be pretty overbought right the rsi is going to be overbought we might see a little bit of a retracement there then we can play the flip side which is d gas which is an etf that's going up whenever natural gas is selling off so i think this could be a good possibility you know, if we break, let's say, 260, which seems to be a resistance right now on natural gas, if we break that, we can ride it up to the uh, 265 resistance here. That would be a nice margin on you gas. And if we get rejected, again, if, big if here, we could play D gas on the downside. But if we break out, that can be even more upside for you gas. So those are two ETF plays for today, guys. Let's talk about some stocks. I kind of covered these in yesterday's video. If you missed that part of the video or if you didn't watch the video at all, the couple of stocks were Google, Apple, and AMD. So we saw AMD. Let's talk about Apple first. We saw Apple reported earnings, right? They beat on EPS. They beat on revenue. And the earnings report was taken pretty uh, positively by the market, although China was very weak. The iPhone sales are weak in China, but Tim Cook said that they are stabilizing a bit because they did uh, cut prices, you know, in China. But still, nonetheless, the iPhone sales and the whole iPhone business in general, not even just in China, were weak, right? The business is just weak. This is not news to us. But the stock still ended up popping up, right? It seems like we're breaking out of the 210 resistance here this morning, right? We did after hours yesterday as well. And it seems like, honestly, guys, we're maintaining that level as a new support here. So what I'm looking for is I want to see, right, are we going to end up maintaining this level and then maybe slowly starting to break up to the 220 level because again guys we traded out of the horizontal channel from 200 to 210 it seems like we broke out of there on this positive pretty decent positive earnings report right we broke out of there so the next spot we could be headed to now if we do confirm the push up and by that i mean if we get into the 211s 212s 213s you know this could be the the next hike up to about $220, which would be the next resistance, excuse me, that I'm seeing here on Apple. So that's what I'm watching this morning. You know, I'm probably not going to hop into Apple, guys, to be completely honest with you. I want to see how the market reacts to this, and I don't want to just hop in and then the stock starts to sell off. I want to probably give it, you know, a day or two 
See, if something similar happens to Facebook, where Facebook popped up aggressively, then they sold off aggressively the next couple of days, right? If that happens to Apple, I'm probably going to take a position, but at these levels, I'm being a bit cautious, right? Because I'm in Apple in my long-term portfolio, right? I'm enjoying the gains there, so I don't want to just hop in and get too greedy and hope it does get to 220. You know, I think it probably can maybe in, in a couple of weeks, months, over time. But I'm just being a bit cautious on that right now. So AMD is another one that reported earnings yesterday. The market took it pretty well. The stock went up nearly to $30 per share after market hours. And now we're seeing a bit of a pullback on AMD, which is very ideal for an entry point in my personal opinion. So we're pulling down. Let's see on the 20 day one hour. We'll see it a bit better. We're pulling down and we're looking to retest this level of resistance um, old resistance, which is now a new support at around 28.75. So we popped up to 30. We're pulling back now to roughly the old resistance, new support. And if we maintain this level, which it seems like we are doing pre-market hours here, I think this is a very good trade potential trade on AMD from $28.75 up to $30. And if we get our handy dandy little trend line tool out, we can see exactly how much that has to offer, right? That's about 3-4% margin of profit. And a lot of analysts think AMD is going to all-time highs. I'm not going to say that myself, right? You got to do your own research on that. But all I'm saying is analysts think they're going to all-time highs, right? Analysts think that um, or they rather they did raise the price targets on AMD. So take that for what you want to, right? If you, if you think that's positive news, bad news, whatever, take it how you want to, right? But me personally, I think from here up to 30 is a very good trade. But if we break back down to the 28 level, if, especially if we break 28.75 and we start to break into the lower 28 level, that's going to be worrisome in my opinion on AMD. So let's hop over here to Google stock. And Google, we all know, reported earnings a couple of days ago. The stock tanked, I, be I believe it was about 10%. We can see exactly here Roughly 10%, more like 8.5% from about 1300 bucks all the way down to 1175 So Google, this is one that's maintaining its trend over the 184 hour, which I think is very attractive, right? This is something that if we start to reverse back into the 1200 level, this can be a very strong swing trade kind of as the dust settles from this whole earnings debacle that Google just had, right? So this, in my opinion, <clears throat> once it confirms that it's pushing up, it's going to be one of the best swing trades out there. And again, don't just trade this on my opinion, guys. You have to understand the risk involved. You have to understand and really just formulate your own plan regarding what you are trading. So Google, AMD, Apple, top three for today, Procter & Gamble as well, of course. I've been in that one for about a week now. That's one that I'm watching and potentially looking to add more to. UGAS, DGAS, CL, right? UWT, those are a couple that I'm watching today. So I hope you guys enjoyed this morning's video. If you did, feel free to go down below, hit that like button. Really supports me, supports the channel. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about the market, the Fed meeting, Apple, AMD. Where are we going? Is the stock market about to retrace 5%, 10%? I would love to know what you guys have to think. And of course, if you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you're notified every time that I do make a video. I'll catch you all in the next video. Have a good one. Good luck today. Have a great day. Peace out.